You know, so far, since school is almost over, I have a happy life. I rest in the classes I feel tired in, I say whatever I want at any time given, and I get to see thick teenage stupid girls walk around with strip club clothes on, so I guess you can say that, Today was a good day. So I walk out of school, right? Sitting on the passenger seat of my grandma's Jurassic Park Jeep, looking at the window like I was in some shitty love song, but in a good way, in a very good way. I get home, fire up the Xbox and the PC, and I'm ready to play some 2K so I could get revenge against Stephen fucking Curry with Ty Lawson and the Denver Nuggets. But I look on the PC, and I check on NudeVista.com to see if they got some new content for your boy to celebrate too. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I see a National Masturbation Month ad. It pops up, and my whole day goes from Today was a good day To this Oh hell no This really pisses me off and you would think that, oh, BKB2, National Masturbation Month, is a way for people to get masturbation to show that it's it's good. Like, the people, all the people that masturbate aren't fat nerds that play League of Legends and World of Warcraft all day. It's good for that. No, the fuck is not. It's one code you gotta follow when it comes to masturbation. And that's never tell your peers when you masturbate. And don't, need, don't say to me, oh, BKV2, you did this in your little, when I masturbated with high sanitizer video. Well, let me tell you this. I may have told you a story, but did I tell you the time I did it? Did I tell you the exact way? Well, I did tell you the exact way. But did I tell you the time and date I did it and what my experiences and all that was? No, I didn't. Because that is the bro code. That is the national masturbation code. You do not share your information amongst peers on your masturbation experience. That's between you and your penis. And I guess for girls, you and your vagina. It defies the whole bro code. And they actually have a fucking convention for jacking off. People have broken records at these conventions. You know how nerds and people like me go to Comic Con to see their favorite childhood stars and anime and all that other cool shit? They got a convention for masturbating for people that like to go up and down with the palm of their hand on their dick. And for girls, for people that like to uh, put the finger in and out. In their vagina. Uh, I just really can't picture that. I don't know. But whatever. They have conventions for this shit. In Denmark, people jack off for seven hours. How do you do that? After the first three attempts, nothing comes out. I don't even think it's white anymore. I think it turns into a clear substance up to the point where it's just nothing. Like... You, you may feel the sensation like you're about to bust, but you just don't see anything, like nothing comes out. How do you do it for seven hours? I can go to sleep for seven hours and wake up and you're still doing it. It just, it doesn't make sense. It, it's like inhuman. It's in fucking human. Who the, and, and this is really what I'm talking about. Is this, is this the fucking meat beating Olympics? Who the fuck measures calm distance? People at these events, these conventions, actually beat their meat and measure the distance that they come. How the fuck do you do that? Do you keep a boner for like a year and all of a sudden, oh, you beat it, you beat it, and you like squirt and it? That shit is disgusting. I want to be a porn star and I'm disgusted by that shit. How dare you? Measuring your cum distance. This ain't no meat beating Olympics. Target practice. They call it a fucking target practice for beating your meat. People put up, people put up, oh man, people put up a red and white target, like the target finder on Call of Duty. And they sit there and they beat their meat. And when the shit comes out and it hits the middle, they go bullseye. Like, that's so sad. That's, that's so bad. You're breaking the whole bro code of master you do not break that whole code of masturbation. While you're watching this video, I want you to put your fist up in the air. Clench your hand into a fist and repeat this with me. You do not break the bro code of masturbation. 
You don't need a convention to jock it. Even the late and great Michael Jackson could tell you that. Remember that song, Beat It, Just Beat It. He wasn't talking about beat, beat, um, beat what's bad in your life. He was talking about just beat your dick. You don't need to go to, to a convention and impress people on how you can beat your nuts. Just go to a fucking, go to your house, go home, and just beat it. Just beat it. One more time, Michael. Just, just beat it, beat it. Like that, man. Just beat it, beat it, beat it. You don't gotta beat it out of convention. You just go home and beat it, man. Please. So with that said, before this video ends, I wouldn't even say BKV too much can be too well because this is just sad. Clench your hand into your fist. Throw that fucking hand up in the air. And say this. I, and whatever the fucking name is watching this video, will not break the bro code of masturbation. Also, before I leave, Shout out to Willie Tinsley, that Tupac, Kobe Bryant looking motherfucker. I love you. And shout out to Chris Martinez because all you do is ask for a shout out. With that said, BKB2, which could be.